5.3 is linear function patterns, and it's very similar to what we did in Chapter 2 where we were writing the equation of a line, only now there's a special type of equation called a function, which we will get into as we develop Chapter 5, but it will seem very similar to Chapter 2. Example 1. Use the graph to write a linear function that relates y to x. Now, if you remember from Chapter 2, in order to write the equation, we need the slope and the intercept. So the slope in this case is up 3 so the slope is 3 over 2. The y-intercept is right here at 0, 3, I'm sorry, 0, negative 3. So the equation is y equals 3 over 2x minus 3. Now, second example is very similar to the first one, so if you'd like, you can pause the video and try it on your own, or you can follow along with me. In order to find the slope, you will go down 1 and left, I'm sorry, down 1 and right 2, so the slope is negative 1 half. The y-intercept is right here at 0, negative 1. So the function for this is y equals negative one-half x minus one. Example two, use the table to write a linear function that relates y to x. Now, as you notice, there's no graph for this, and there are two ways we can do it. One is the method that I'm going to use, which is the slope formula. As you recall, it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, or you can graph the points and get the um, equation from the picture. Now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that because it can take a little bit of time. So I'm going to use these two points right here. They seem the friendliest to me. 5 minus 3 over negative 1 minus 0. You could have done 3 minus 5 over 0 minus negative 1. Either way, we should end up with a final answer of negative 2. The y-intercept is right here at 0, neg zero 3. So the function for this is y equals negative 2x plus 3. This example is very similar. If you'd like to pause, you can, um, or follow along. To use a slope, I'll pick these two. 2 minus 2 over 1 minus 0, which gives me a slope of 0. The intercept is at 0, 2. So the formula is y equals 0x plus 2. Now you could have um, also written it, and probably the preferred method of writing it is y equals 2. Now, if you noticed back up at the table, all of these y values are 2. Now, if you spotted that from the very beginning, you can kind of think, well, the, from my experience, that's the line y equals 2. Um, but if you're not experienced enough to see that, or if you just didn't see it, um, you can certainly go through these three steps. Final example is real-life application. Graph the data in the table. A, is the domain discrete or continuous? B, write a linear function that relates y to x. And letter C is how many calories do you burn in 4.5 hours? So I'm just going to zoom a little so that way I can get the whole um, page on the screen. And you'll notice that there's no x or y axes. You need to decide how to set it up. So if you think about it logically, you can't have negative hours and you can't have negative calories. So it makes sense for us to just put one big um, first quadrant on our graph grid. Now you should be using a ruler. I'll do my best to make them straight using the pen. So now I have to decide what my scale is. Well, I can go by 1's on the x-axis, because all I have to go is up to 8, but um, if I look ahead, it looks like, based on the number of boxes, I can probably um, 
I probably have to go by 200. So I'll put a little mark to show my reader that I'm going by 200s. Um, whereas I'm going by ones on the x-axis. So now let's plot the points. So that's two six hundred. Four twelve hundred. Six eighteen hundred. And eight. 2400. Now, before I connect them, I need to decide letter A is the domain discrete or continuous? Does it make sense for me to get values in between these four data points, or are these really the only four data points that make sense? And if you think about it, you can kayak for two and a half hours and you can burn 823 calories. So um, it does make sense for them to be connected, so I will connect it. And again, I'm not going to go into the negatives, um, but the domain is continuous. Letter B, write a linear function that relates y to x. So I need the slope and I need the intercept. So the intercept I can see um, is the point zero, zero. And the slope is up 3, right 2. But remember, every box was worth 200. So the slope is actually 600 over 2, which makes the official slope 300. So my uh, function that relates y to x is going to be y equals 300x. You can write plus 0, but I wouldn't um, encourage you to. And finally, letter C. How many calories do you burn in 4.5 hours? Now, there are two ways you can do this. You can either go to the graph and look at where it hits 4.5 and then just kind of trail it over um, and see where it hits over here. I wouldn't necessarily encourage you to do that um, because if you're just kind of approximating where it is and especially if it's not um, an exact point, um, it's going to be a little difficult. I would encourage you to go to the formula and instead of x, put 4.5. Um, that gives you 1,350. So you can burn 1,350 calories. Oops. Calories. Sorry about that random line. <laughs> 